country through paper folding. Greetings to you all. Hearty welcome to the world of geometry. Enjoy some geometrical concepts via paper folding. In this method, mathematics is in the hands of children. They will be folding and unfolding papers. They learn the concepts correctly by doing. This comes under no-cost technology. All you need are sheets of plain white paper and a steel ruler rather than expensive glossy plastic sheet. This project is dedicated to Swami Adhirananda, Secretary Sri Ramakrishna Jaya Perinayake Balayam. Now let us start. Now we are going to see how to fold a line segment. Take a piece of paper, carefully crease like this. Now unfold, you are getting a line segment. So here I have shown two line segments. A, B and C, D. The symbol for writing this A, B is A, B. You will put a small bar there. So it called line segment A, B, line segment C, D. If there is no line segment above the letters, they are called metric measures. So we are talking only about the measurement of A, B and measurement of C, D. Number two. Given two points, only one line segment can only one line segment can be drawn. Two points, only one line segment can be drawn. Two lines intersect at only one point, or you can see two line segments. This is one line segment, then another line segment. So, this is called intersection of two line segments, they intersect one point here. The line segment you can see clearly it has got only length, no breadth, no height. Similarly, for this point, there is no breadth, no length, and no height. So, this is the point. Through a point, infinite number of <coughs> line segments can be drawn. One line segment. Now we got a point. Send the line segment. Like that, many line segments can be drawn. You can see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. All these line segments are passing through one point I. Now we are going to see how to draw parallel lines. This is a first folding. Please note that. Halfway through. Then take this part. Again, fold it into two halves. Same way, you again fold it. Now you are having three parallel lines. 
the balance here you can see J, K, L, M and N, P. They are all parallel line segments. Now you can see how to draw perpendicular bisector to a given line segment. Now this is the given line segment. Now take these two points, end points, come here, let them join together at this point, they have uh, merged like that, and then you slowly do like this. Now you got the perpendicular bisector of the given line. The given line segment is AB. The CD is the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. The into that O, the angle BOD is equal to 90 degrees. The length of OB is equal to length of OA. Therefore, it is called perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. Now, how to draw a perpendicular line segment to a given line segment? Let us go like this. So, this is the given line segment. We will draw a perpendicular line to this line segment. But what do you use? You do like this. Take this. Fold like this. Now unfold. Now here you can see this perpendicular. This line is line segment is perpendicular to this given line segment. Here you can see the given line segment is XY and the perpendicular is BW. They said Z and angle B Z Y is equal to 90 degrees. Given a line segment, we are given a point outside it. We are given a point outside it. Let the point be here. Now, how to draw a pipeline through this point? So, take this point. Now, you fold like this. Let the line go through like this. Slowly, you merge like this. It will pass through the given point. Now fold. Now you can see this is the perpendicular line passing through the given point. Now here you can see the given point is Ln and your point A is outside it. The PQA is the perpendicular line through A to LN. Now, we are given many points. Of course, they are on, on like, like this, on this line segment, for example. Now, uh, only one line segment can be passed to this. This line segment passes through the given points L, N, P, Q. You can see L, N, P, Q. So these points L, N, P, Q are called collinear points. They lie on the line segment. So they are co -line, collinear points. Given a point, you can see we have many line segments can be drawn through passing through this point. One line segment. Other line as well. Then you can say another third line segment. See, it is one, two, 3, 1, 2, 3, these 3 line segments pass the one point, these 3 line segments are called concurrent lines. You can see this here very clearly, concurrent lines, they pass through this point.
Now we are moving to angles. You can see A B and A C. They intersect at A. So the angle is formed B A and A C. So the angle is called B A C. This angle A is less than 90. Therefore, it is called acute angle. And this angle B is called right angle or the measure is 90 degrees. In this case, C also is an acute angle. You can see this angle is 90 degrees. Always the paper cut, you know, you are having all this 90 degrees. Now here is an angle P Q R. Let me place this on this. Now you can see clearly this angle P Q R is greater than 90 degrees. So this is called an obtuse angle. Now we have to learn how to form a bisector of a given angle. The given angle is A, B, C. Now fold this end so that this line segment falls on the bottom. Now crease it. Unfold it. Now here you can see this A, B, D and C, B, D are equal. So I have bisected the angle B, that is namely A, B, C. How to form an angle measuring 40 degrees? Now you know this angle is 90 degrees, that is angle B, A, C is 90 degrees. Now make this line segment here to fall on this, that is this angle side, you know. You make this to fall on this, then crease it. Now this angle is bisected. So when you bisect this 19 to 2 equal parts, each angle is 40 degrees. Here B A E is equal to E A C is equal to 40 degrees. Now we are going to learn how to make 135 degrees through paper folding. Now first fold this into two halves. Crease it. Now here you can see this part is 90, this angle is 90 degrees. Now here also it is 90 degrees. Now divide this, that is you draw the angle by center here. So this 90 degrees is divided into two equal parts that is 45, 45. Now here it is 90 degrees and this is 45 degrees. The total angle is 135 degrees. 90 plus 45 is equal to 135. Uh, here's a wonderful idea about folding the paper making 60 degrees and 30 degrees. Now what to do is first take this paper, fold this into two halves like this then carefully you take this edge now fold this into two halves like this crease it now unfold it after unfolding, carefully take this B, the corner B, to fall, keeping this A in steadily. You make this corner to fall on the midline. So this is the midline segment. Now it touches here. Now you unfold. You get this angle is 60 degrees. Since the total is 90 degrees, there is this 30 degrees. This 30 degrees. I have taken this 30 degrees. This measurement is 30. Now I am folding the two halves. That is, I am bisecting this angle. So now I am getting an angle measuring 15 degrees. See? This 15 degrees.
is plot with 30 degrees I do into two equal parts that is down the, the bisector of this angle bisector so it is divided two halves one measures 15 degrees now here we are going to make here we are going to make 120 degrees and 105 degrees now you can see I have already folded if you fold like this and make this to fall on this clearly you are getting a 90 degrees so this angle is 90 degrees so you mark here angle B now take this and make this 30 degrees here and when you make this 30 degrees it becomes see here it is 60 degrees then divide into two halves so that becomes 30 30 this 90 plus 30 gives you 120 degrees now again I am dividing this into two equal parts this is 15 degrees so this 90 plus 15 gives you 105 I clearly show this is 90 degrees I only made 130 degrees then I divided this into 30 degrees into two equal parts making 15 degrees now I am having 30, 90 degrees here and 15 degrees here so I have made 105 the 90 degrees here and the total 30 degrees here and adding this you get 120 degrees 150 degrees take a piece of paper like this I already told you into two halves fold this into two halves crease it nicely unfold it uh, 90 degrees here now as I already told you make 60 degrees like this see it, it falls on this now you crease it you get 60 degrees this is 60 degrees so total 90 plus 60 that makes you 150 degrees this is 90 this is 60 total is 150 degrees now it's wonderful idea you can see you cannot draw an angle whose measure is 22 and a half or six and a half using your protractor but in this paper folding method you can make it 22 and a half degrees as well as 67 and a half degrees now no, this is 90 degrees already we see 90 degrees make this to fall on this crease it now I have 45 degrees, 40 degrees. Now divide this 40 degrees into two. So that is you are drawing the angle by side of this thing. This is the way we are making it. Now you can see this 40 is divided into two halves. So this means 22 and a half. Now I have 45 degrees. Then this total is 67 and a half. Because already 45. This is 45. So now you are making 22 and a half. So this makes this angle 67 and a half. You know this is 45. This is total and half. So this gives you 67 and a half degrees. Here also we are going to make 135 degrees and an angle measuring 112 and a half degrees. As usual, make this paper fold like this into two equal parts. Crease it unfold it now divide this by drawing an angle bisector into two halves that means now you are getting 45 45 now if you add this 45 to this 90 the angle is 135 degrees now divide this 45 degrees into two equal parts that is I am drawing the angle bisector now this 45 is divided into two parts namely 22 and a half this 90 plus 22 and a half gives you 1 1 2 and a half degrees 112 degrees 112 and a half degrees now it is chapter 4 taken one sheet of paper I cut across like this. Now you can see 
this and the corner angle in, 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 which a machine can paper the corner angle will be always 90 degrees so this angle is called 90 degrees so it is called a right angle now you can see in this if I place this 90 degrees over this see it is more than this 90 it is more than this 90 that means it is an obtuse angle it is called absolute because it is more than 90 degrees now again you can see if I place this angle here it is less than 90 degrees you can see it is less than 90 degrees therefore it is called an acute angle chapter 5 now we are going to see how to find the center of a given triangle this is a triangle what is the set this line is called median they will defined as the line in joining the midpoint of one side and the vertex of the opposite side the vertex of the opposite side now let us fold like this that means we got drawn one median it's called median similarly you can see take the midpoint you can see I am getting very easily. Now, this point is joined to the opposite vertex. Now, you can see clearly the two line segment intersect G. Now, let us verify. 